First question, what is your program about? So basically, this is a new take on working out. It's a new way to work out. I've experimented for about 26 years with different types of working out, different ways of just achieving what can the human body do. If I work out this way, how does that manipulate my results? So I heard the idea, your body doesn't want to be sore. That's really not studied when it comes to working out. Nobody works out like that. The whole idea is to make yourself sore. The whole idea is break it down really hard. Let me find new and interesting ways to break myself down, make myself really sore. And then I build back up, right? This still does that in a sense, but you're just not breaking it down so hard that those muscles need five days to recover. You're breaking it down to a point you're stopping and you're trying to see if you can make yourself recovered by the next day. So that's the idea here is only working to a point and then being recovered by the next day. So in the morning you wake up, am I sore? Am I not sore? Do I wake up feeling good? Do I wake up feeling sore? So our goal with this workout is to wake up not feeling sore, wake up feeling good. Everything that's studied, you'll always see a key term in any kind of study. It'll say we took this exercise with this many people, we did this many reps and we studied them to maximal capacity. What does that mean? Maximal capacity. That means say they're doing five reps. They're using a weight that on the fifth rep, the guy's pushing really hard and he stops right there and he can't do a sixth rep. Or if they're, they're studying 10 reps with some exercise by the 10th rep, they're at their maximal capacity. They cannot do 11. So all the studies you see out there, maybe two don't go by that. They're all the rest, hundreds of thousands of studies. They all study to maximal capacity. Basically because it's believed that that's how you have to work out. You have to push yourself to the edge to see results. So every study is like that. The way I work out is not to maximal capacity. The way I work out is to half capacity. So basically what I do is I go to five, I put the weight down and I think, could I have done 10? Or I ask my clients, could you have done 10? And if we both agree, they look pretty comfortable doing that. And they feel they put it down. Yeah, I think I could have. Then we put a little check mark meaning you could have got to 10. Once there's a few check marks next to it, we might bump it up a little bit and then we erase our check marks and we go with our new increased weight. Now with that, could I have done 10 days later, you know? But you just don't see half capacity. So that's what I was trying to figure out here with this workout is can I create something where I'm not sore the next day? I did. And what would happen? What would happen if I did that? You know, how would my results look? What's going to happen? That's just always my question. What's going to happen if I do things this way or that way? And with this workout, when I started going to half capacity, to my surprise, not only did it work, but I actually got stronger, which blew my mind, completely blew my mind. This, it, it takes everything and throws the other studies out the window at this point, because when they study nutrition, they study at, with when they're studying guys going to maximal capacity, when they study what the body needs, it's always to maximal capacity. When, it's, when they study supplements, we need to pile on ourselves. They're studying it under people they are working to maximal capacity. Oftentimes, obviously there's a lot of people out there that understand that working a little bit under maximal capacity can be ideal. So I'm not the only one that does like this, but a lot of the studies, a lot of the nutrition recommendations, a lot of the rep ranges and how to build muscle, it, it, they're all studied at maximal capacity. So this is a totally unstudied, brand new way of doing things and I really think this is going to be the new wave. It's the opposite of CrossFit, right? CrossFit, not saying it doesn't work. It does work. But the whole idea, it seems to me anyway, when I go to CrossFit gyms, I've been to a few classes, run them into the ground as hard as you can, work as hard as you can, redline the body constantly. And that works. That works. Your body will adapt. You will change. It's just simply that you don't actually have to do that. Most of the time when I've worked out, I actually didn't really work out to maximal capacity myself, maybe near, but what I would do is I would work through with the weight that was near maximal. And if I did 10 on like an arm day for curls, let's say, then I had my leg day, chest day, back day. And then once I was back to my arm day, if I, if I said I did 10 last time, I would just go ahead and do 10 with the same weight again. Once I had done that twice on two different workouts, then I would increase it. But I was moving to much more maximal capacity back then. But it made it so I didn't redline myself all the time, which made working out feel better. I just, I felt good. And I probably have more consistency 
not constantly redlining myself than most people do. A lot of people, they have this idea that isn't it supposed to hurt? No pain, no gain, right? Like you're supposed to push really hard. You're supposed to run your body into the ground and that's healthy, right? Like that's supposed to be what makes me a healthy person as I kill myself. It's not the best way of doing things. It's one way of doing things. I don't think it's the best way. I truly believe that this new idea of working out, which some, some other people have discovered it, I think it's gonna be the next big thing. I think realizing that we don't have to work so hard um, to get results. You don't have to work so hard in a lot of areas. Work itself doesn't have to be really hard. Life doesn't have to be that hard. I think that's the next new wave that's kind of coming up. So I think that's going to attract a lot of people to this type of program. It's just this idea that like, oh, well, I don't want to go to the gym. That sounds like a lot of work. You know, the last time I went in there, I had some trainer. They just destroyed me. I was so sore. Um, and sometimes people come into it even asking me for that. And I'm like, okay, if you want to work out the hard way, we can work out the hard way. That's fine. I did that for 22 years myself. I did work out split routine because I didn't know any other way. And a lot of people actually kind of get addicted to that feeling, that soreness and tells you you did a good job, tells you you worked hard. So with understanding that you don't have to work out like that, that there's another way you don't have to work out really hard. I think that's going to attract a lot of people. They're not going to, they, maybe the last time work out, it was really difficult. And then when you take a break, and you sort of get unconditioned a little bit. And then you go back in there and you're like, oh, I'm kind of back to square one. Like, this is just really difficult. That's hard to motivate yourself to go do that. It's not that much fun for a lot of people. It's difficult to get yourself up and get going and knowing I'm going to go to the gym and I'm going to destroy myself. I actually had a long break from working out myself before I created this new way of working out. And part of me was kind of in the gym going, what am I doing? It's been 22 years that I've been doing this and I had to take a little tiny break because I had a new job. It was a lot of hard labor, a lot of manual labor. I was working as a ranch hand and I'd get home and I would just, I wouldn't even have dinner. My girlfriend at the time, now my wife, she'd be, hey, dinner be ready in 30 minutes, by the way. And after I got home and I'd say, great, thank you. Oh my gosh, that's, I'm just going to lie down. I'm so tired. I would pass out, wouldn't have dinner. I'd wake up at 7 a.m. Crap, I got to go back to work. And I would just go. I was so exhausted. So I was forced to take a little break. And then once I got used to that job and then I got a job as a nurse, towards the end of working at the ranch hand, I was hitting the gym a little bit again. And then I was working as a nurse while I was going again. That job wasn't so labor intensive. But it's kind of there pushing real hard on chest day and kind of going, what am I doing? Like, why, why do this? Is this really healthy? Is this the best? I mean, it's something your body wants to move that's healthy. But, uh, you know, it just seems kind of pointless, just build muscle again. You know, I've been doing this forever. So, and then I had the idea or I saw on a Joe Rogan podcast, the idea of not working so hard and your body doesn't want to be sore. So you work your muscles more frequently. So I decided, okay, let's take the volume of how much weight I'm pushing on my chest day. I, had, I was on a six day split. So chest day, back day, leg day, arm day, shoulder day, leg day too. And I was on a six day split and I decided Let's take all the volume that I have on my days, cut it into, cut it by one sixth, one sixth. So one sixth of the work that of what I was going to do, but I was going to do for my chest, but I was going to do it every day. And then also one sixth of the work for my back, but every day, one sixth of my arm volume into one day. So I put all the volume into one day and started working out that way and trying to see if I could make myself not sore, wake up not sore and see what would happen. I was just testing this out, blind idea, you know, let's just see what we can see here. My body started to acclimate, my body started to get used to it. I was doing the same workout every day, three days on, one day off, three days on, one day off, just like my old six day split routine that I was doing. And I would hop in the car with my wife and I was like, you know, I think this new way, I think it's working. I actually, I feel pretty good. And the next day go work out. You know what? That was easier than yesterday. I feel better today. And then again, and it just kept on getting easier and easier and easier. And then I started to change it up a little bit. So I do a set of 10, could I have done 20? Do a set of five, could I do 10? So a set of three, could I do six? A set of two, a set of one, could I double it? And all of a sudden on my one, I would notice it, it's not just easy, it's really easy now. So I'm actually going to bump the weight up a little bit. And so I did. And I would do that with all my lifts. And all of a sudden, my numbers just started going up like crazy. And all of a sudden, I was benching as much as I ever benched before. 
like the most I'd ever benched. I was matching mild numbers and I was doing it daily or nearly daily. I never hit 315 on bench. Then one day I'm like inching up towards 315. Everything's feeling easy. I'm using the same method. I have to have done it twice. And it has to feel like I could have doubled the reps as we're using 305, let's say, to bench. And then one day I'm like, I think I can do 315. And I'm doing squats every day. I'm doing curls every day, triceps every day, everything every day. And all of a sudden, one day, just 315, hit it, racked it. Like, I just did 315. I've never done that in my life. And then one day, I think I can do 320 until I hit 345. I'm 5'8", and I was just blown away that I was stronger. Like, how has everyone missed this? How have we all missed this? And that one study that someone told me about that I later learned about from Dr. Aaron Horschig of Squat University, I learned about this study where some guys studied something similar. And, and this guy wrote the, about it a little bit. And he was like, yeah, and I was doing everything so frequently. All the guys at the gym were referring to me as the frequency guy. And I was like, no, 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 I still work out the old way. And I'm like, why? Why? You just found gold. Potentially, why did this guy not do anything with it? You know, I found the same thing. And again, I have to look, reference the study and see what he found exactly. But it was similar. He found a lot of strength increases in the upper body in particular. Legs stayed about the same as doing a split routine. So you can do it either way with your legs. But with my upper body, it definitely has strength increases. And you have a strength equality in the lower half. Maybe we can change that one day. Find a better way to work the legs or something. But my mind was absolutely blown that there's this other way of doing things where you're not sore, you don't work that hard, and you're stronger. Mind-blowing. Absolutely freaking mind-blowing. Incredibly also mind-blowing that somebody else found it, potentially before me, and did nothing with it. How do you find... The greatest thing, and, and anyways, maybe his friends make fun of him too much and he just decided to let it go. So when you find something like that, what do you do? You keep it to yourself and be one of the strongest guys around and don't tell anybody how you did it or you share it with everybody. So I just had to share it with everybody. I've always enjoyed fitness. I work as a nurse, but you know, if I had to quit something, it wouldn't be working out because that's my favorite thing. Um, so I decided I'm going to start training people. I'm going to try to push this method in particular. I want to push this method, but I can also teach split routines. Sometimes someone prefers a split routine. I kind of tell them when I start off, okay, I have this new way you can try it out with me if you want, and I'll coach you through it. Or there's the old way, split routine, going to work hard, going to be sore. But hey, some people want that. And sometimes I have tell people, I want to be sore the next day. And I go, hey, all right, let's freaking do it. I get it. I did that way for 22 years. It can be fun. But whenever somebody's like, oh, no, no, I want the new way, especially if you become stronger for it, why would you want to work hard and be weaker? It doesn't make any sense. So a lot of people they want to be coached in new way. Had a lot of great success with people. My first guy ever PR'd his bench and lost 46 pounds at the same time. But the weight loss is dietary 100%. I was working with that guy very closely, making sure he was eating the right stuff. He even brought him to my house and taught him how to cook some of the meals. The dietary part, that's where the weight loss comes from. The workout you know, is strength building and body recomposition. But if you actually want to drop weights, that is on you to prepare meals, do the stuff I recommend as far as that's concerned. But the workout will make you strong AF, so that's fun to do. I really enjoy how my strength has gone up with this new workout.